Hello and welcome to Web Design and Development course using HTML5 and CSS3. This is an introduction to HTML5 and CSS3. Here you'll see the source and reference for this video. I hope you'll be able to follow along this web design course. The prerequisites for this course are the following. Sublime Text Editor and a web browser. As you watch this video, please bear in mind about our ESLRs. And these are right thought, right communication, right attitude, right conduct, and right lifestyle. Now let's move on to our lesson. Section 10, Getting Your Site on the Internet. Lesson 10.1. Website and Domain Names Website and Domain Names To get our site on the internet, we're going to need some web space. For most people, and certainly beginners, this means something called shared hosting. What we're basically doing here is renting a folder on somebody else's server. That somebody else will be a web hosting company who either own the servers themselves or acting as a middleman for the company that owns the server. And this is called a reseller. The size of the folder we get on the server will vary, but is typically between 500 megabytes to a gigabyte. This is usually more than enough. In fact, 100 megabytes is usually more than enough. If, for example, each web page on your site is 10 kilobytes, and 100 megabytes means that we will have room for about 10,000 pages. Domain names. As far as websites go, a domain name is the bit after the www in our address bar followed by a ending such as .com or .co, etc. When signing up with a web host, they'll usually let you register a domain name with them. It's up to you to come up with a name, though. We can register any name we like unless someone else has already taken it. It's pretty much first come, first serve. We have to be careful not to tread on someone's trademark though, as we'll quickly find ourselves in hot waters if we register something like www.megacorphelplinessforyou.com, where Megacorp is the name of a giant company like Apple or Microsoft. Where to go and buy a domain name? There are plenty of sites out there that do domain names. For example, we're running a promotion with domain.com. We can click the banner on the left to go to their site. We'll then see a text box where we can enter a snappy domain name. They will then tell, tell us if it's available to buy. If it is, we're good to go. Pretty soon, that killer domain name will be yours. The price of a .com domain is usually around the $10 a year mark. Other domain endings will be even cheaper. If we don't want to use domain.com, then use a search enter and type domain names. There'll be no shortage of results coming back. If we want to try domain.com, however, either click the banner on the left or click this link. For more details and classwork in this lesson, please check Google Classroom. Thank you.